They're shooting a movie. And my neighbor Gosh. came and said that they're filming a movie and the streets are going to be all covered in the stuff. And my kids went running out to check it out. I wish we knew. <laughs> the police or anything didn't put anything out that you guys were going to be doing this. And my dogs <laughs> raised a habit this morning. They really have director's chairs down there. All the lights, all the setup. The lights, the cameras, and seeing this action. It's overwhelming. That's Robert Loggia. And uh, Richard Roundtree. I mean, uh, you know, the original Shaft. It doesn't look chaos, but kind of busy crazy. I think it's great. Y'all go do my house on the 23rd. Yeah, good game. The game was good. That is a wrap for the picture of the photography of Wild 7. Thank you, everybody, for an excellent, excellent job. We love you. We'll see you at the movie. Some of the most interesting things happen with the crew behind the scenes, what's going on, the ridiculousness of producing a movie. The most important and challenging thing for me is not only to have a great team of professionals, but a great team of human beings, because we're all working for a common goal, and the common goal here is Y07. When you're shooting, the crew really doesn't have a life. You know, when you're doing a feature especially, your life is this movie, starting whenever we wake up. I haven't slept that much, but uh, I feel good. It's nice in Arizona that you're shooting at night and it's not 150 degrees. My whole sleeping pattern's completely messed up. Very hard on the body and the mind. I'll tell you about Wild 7. Well, um, Wild 7's, uh, I don't know, what kind of movie is this, man? It's a docudrama ramedy. Uh, I would, I, I would call it, uh, you know, it's, it's not, Oh, can you quit pass on that? Pull that cold trigger. It's really an offbeat, kind of quirky movie. I'm the Texan. This is definitely going to be different. You, the crafty veterans, versus the five knuckleheads that shouldn't be having guns, you know? There are elements of this picture which I think draw from the spaghetti westerns. It has uh, touches of a western, but it's not a textbook western. Yeah, not the slugs. Double trouble. I guess a modern day western? A modern western. I think this film has something to say, you know? It's um, it's gritty, it's it's dark. It's a dark comedy. This movie is a stylized war. I think it's gonna do very well. The dailies look good. Hopefully it'll look good uh, when it's done. Bunch of strangers, a lot of times, are thrown together to work together. Nothing too exciting's happened on this. There's there been no set romance. I think it's like summer camp. It's like summer camp. Summer camp. Not a kind of camp I'd want to go to. Oh, it totally is. And this is like the last day of school. These people who you barely know at the beginning of the shoot are your best friends by the end of it. Or your worst enemies. You've got a lot of personalities. I cast based on personality. A lot of personality, that's for sure. Yeah, all these guys are so different. That's what makes it so great. Lozier was a challenge. God damn it, my fucking trailer's all messy. This is fucking ridiculous. Would you come to a, would you come to a hotel? Would you come to a hotel where they didn't change the sheets and you know he's like bitching about it and then he stops it then he goes I'm just getting in the character. My character is very nefarious. I don't like black people. That doesn't mean that I won't try to get along with you. But he's pretty funny. Maybe that's a saving grace. God will. <laughs> the Loja character pushes those buttons that and he has to remember buttons. that was my former life. I would have reacted to that in a very violent way. This man has killed 87 people. But this is a revenge picture. This guy wants revenge. It's what a lot of Westerns are about. Who I am is not important. Uh, I'm originally from Mississippi, so it wasn't that hard to step into character, considering my nickname's a redneck. Don't forget the the. What gives the pop? The Texan. Once you start writing the characters, the characters start writing themselves. Well, I can uh, see we pissed on a moment. Kind of looked like he was just about to go in for the kiss. Nick? Best summed up as Nick the Prick. I fucked that little bitch. I fucked her an hour before she turned 18. Petey's kind of the mom of the group. Takes care of everybody. I spent 20 minutes trying to convince these girls not to call the cops. Phillip's an idiot. There's two bomb girls over there. Hey! Connor just comes from just bottom of the barrel slums of Apache Junction. <laughs> James is killer, man. I'm like, wow, he's. He knows what he's doing. I'm really impressed. Very detail oriented. Young guy, 23. I like the fact that he's young. Very young. I've got shoes older than <laughs> This is his second picture. You know, he's open to interpretation from the actors for, for their own roles. My intention was to have uh, a bunch of fresh guys against the older guys who are very experienced. That's what I'm going for because that 
that alone will help uh, give the stories a different feel.